Hello, in this video we are going to cover how to set up Bootstrap version 4. So what you want to do is open up a browser, because first of all we need to actually get the files or get access to them, and just go to getbootstrap.com. There will be a link in the description, it will be the first link in there. And when you get here, this video, as a recording, I'm doing it for version 4 alpha but these videos will still be relevant I can guarantee when bootstrap version 4 comes out in its final release the only slight difference will probably be in this video because it's in alpha mode it's on a separate page whereas version 3 is still the current download link on the home page whereas this will most likely change to version 4 so that's one of the things that will probably change is where to get the files from but for this video in terms of alpha you just go to this button right here at the top which says oh yeah bootstrap 4 is coming click that go up, we go to the bootstrap blog bootstrap 4 alpha if you scroll down and go to head to the version 4 alpha docs before development plan and from here which and also the link for bootstrap version 4 is version 4 dash alpha dot get bootstrap dot com both the links will be in the description if you click download bootstrap and from here you can download the source files there are other ways of getting it as well so if you know what you're doing check all these different ones out but you can just get the source files and from this you can get the javascript the css files and you can host it yourself when i say host it yourself i mean locally or on some web hosting like hostgator of hostgator is fantastic go check them out I don't have any promotional deal with them, they're not sponsoring me, just really love HostGator compared to a lot of other services out there that I've used. I'll mention them, 1 to 3 Reg, not good, GoDaddy, honestly they're not that bad but they can be quite expensive when you start adding all the packages on which you're probably going to want, so that's how they get you. Also they steal domain names, check their ad, that's true they actually steal your domain names in terms of when you search for something they buy it out though there was a, a big issue with that a little while ago so that's the reason I don't use GoDaddy HostGator are fantastic so check them out but you can also set up a bootstrap project by just clicking documentation so you go to the root page of documentation scroll down to the starting template and if you copy this and paste this into a HTML file, you'll get Bootstrap set up. You won't have a local CSS or a local JavaScript file because they will be hosted on CDN, which stands for Content Delivery Network. So they're going to be hosted somewhere else. Generally, you'll probably want to host them locally again. It could be local on your computer or on a web hosting service. But for the purpose of this series, I'm going to use CDN. So if you just copy this open up your favorite text data for me at the moment is sublime text it's great check it out i'm just going to paste it in here it's detected as html so i'm just going to right click i mean the save i don't know why i said right click on the desktop i'm going to call it index.html save that bad boy and now if i go to my desktop got the index file right here if i double click that it opens it up in my web browser. You might be looking at it, looking at it and thinking, well, this doesn't look at anything special. Isn't Bootstrap supposed to be this great framework that allows you to create responsive websites for mobile and for desktop? You're right, that is what Bootstrap is known for. But what we've done is simply set it up. You're gonna to need to learn a bit more about the different functionality within Bootstrap, which will have videos covering all of that so check them out, but for now, we're all set up to use Bootstrap. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. That's our free education platform with thousands of free videos. Yes, completely free. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, as it does really help keep the content free. Plus, it also helps us provide more content like this on a regular basis. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.